Hey guys, what's up? This is Nikhil from Dope Motions and welcome to my very first Cinema 4D tutorial. Today, we're gonna learn how to create this kind of abstract motion graphic elements into Cinema 4D with some really easy steps. But before that, I would like to announce the names of those 5 lucky people who have won the monthly random giveaway of March 2016. And those 5 lucky people are Tobias, Manthan, Christian, Candy Flims and Lunchbox. I hope I have spelled your name correctly and if I haven't, I'm really really sorry. So make sure you comment down below your email IDs so that I can send you the packs. And those who didn't win, better luck for the next time as I will try to do it every single month. So with that said and done, let's just get straight into the tutorial and get started. Alright, so first of all, we need to set up our viewport. So to do that, I'm gonna go into the edit render settings and make sure you're on the output and set the width to 1280 and height to 720. This should work good and close this up. Then I'm gonna add a tube so go right over here and select a tube and rotate this into the Z position so make sure it's on plus Z. And now I can increase the radius, the inner radius so I'm gonna set this to let's say somewhere around 195 should work good. And you can also play around with the outer radius if you want but I'm gonna keep it at default that is 2200 centimeters and now you can see we have this kind of a choppy edges onto the circle so to fix that we need to increase the rotation segment so I'm gonna set this to 100 and the height to let's say 20 should work good yep that is looking pretty nice and then I'm gonna tick on this fillet so this is gonna give us that really nice and smooth edges which looks really really nice and then I'm going to go to the slice option and turn this on and this is where the animation is going to take place. So we need to keyframe this properties. So to do that I'm going to set this to minus 180 and create a keyframe. Make sure you're on the beginning of the comp and create a keyframe right over there. Then I'm going to go to 60 frames that is 2 seconds and set this to 180 degrees and create a keyframe. So now we should have a basic animation like this. But you can see at the end there is a bit that remains so we need to fix that bit. So to do that what I'm gonna do is come right over to 59th frame go to coordinates and keyframe the scale properties the x y and z and then I'm gonna go to 60 frame and set the properties to 0 and create a keyframe again. Alright, now this is looking nice and we have a clean animation. Okay, now I'm gonna go and set up my camera pretty quick. So go place this right over there and create a camera. Now I'm looking through the camera as you can see I have turned it on. Then you can turn this off to edit it. You can see our camera is placed into the position. Okay, so I'm gonna keep it somewhere around there so we can see what the changes are taking place and you can, you can always switch back to the camera. Now I'm gonna go to the MoGraph and add a cloner and drag this tube into the cloner. Alright, you can see it works, the cloner works same as the repeater in After Effects. So now I'm gonna select the cloner and go to Objects and turn on Render Instances and this is gonna help us to get render pretty fast and it's gonna you know decrease the load on the PC or the computer and make the render pretty easy. Then I'm gonna go and set the position of Y to 0 and we can play around with the position of Z. So I'm gonna place this somewhere around there. You can increase the count as well. You can see you can always go into the camera and see how it looks and come out and edit it the way you want. So you can play around with the different settings and create some really nice looks. Then I'm going to go to MoGraph and create another cloner and just name this main cloner so we don't get messed up and drag the cloner into the main cloner. So we should have something like this. Then I'm going to go into the mode of the main cloner and set this to radial and now you can see we are getting that kind of effect that we are going for. Make sure the render instances is on. Now if I play it pretty quickly, you can see we get some really nice animation. And it is very easy and simple. You can also play around with the radius if you want to and create some really nice and abstract looking effects. You can also increase the counts 
and play around just tweak the settings and go for a really nice effect in no no matter how you use it it's still gonna work and look good so now I'm gonna go and duplicate the tube so to do that I'm gonna hit control and drag this down hit control and drag it so now we have three copies I'm gonna select the middle one or the second one and scale this up a bit just to give a little bit of variation and the same thing with the third one so this way we get some really nice variations so now to see it more properly I'm going to create a materials pretty quick maybe a red one an orange one will look good and a blue one something like this and just drag this onto the tubes like so and this is looking really nice let's come back into the camera view and you can see this looking really really nice you can use these things for creating some really nice abstract effects or logo reveals even so you can also play around select the main cloner and play around with the counts and create some really nice and awesome effects each time and it looks really really nice you can see This is looking really nice. You can also offset it or increase the count or decrease the count of the cloner if you want to. All right, this is looking pretty nice. Now I'm gonna go into the tube and maybe I'll decrease the inner and the outer radius so that we get kind of a thick circles like that. And the same thing I'm gonna do with the tube 2. Make this to maybe 198 and the outer radius to 200. And the same thing with the third one. 198 and 200. And this is looking actually pretty nice. If I just play it pretty quickly, you can see this is looking really, really nice. All right, that is looking sweet. You also come out of the camera and see it if you want to. And it is totally an abstract effect. You can play around with the settings the way you want it and create some different results and more awesome result than this one. I'm gonna pretty quickly create a light and just set this up. A little bit a little bit backwards maybe right over there okay then I'm gonna go to my render settings and add effect of ambient occlusion and global illumination set this to legacy and set this to low this to low and this to weak now the settings are pretty low but the results are gonna be really nice so I'm going to select my camera, come into the camera view and create a background pretty quick and create a white material, just a normal basic material and drag this onto the background. Now if I render it, you can see we're going to get some really nice results. Now this is a pretty basic light setup. You can of course use some softbox and create some really nice lighting. And this is the idea behind this tutorial is to give you guys an idea of how you can create some really nice motion graphic elements into Cinema 4D which can be really really helpful in different ways. You can also follow me on Twitter, Instagram and Facebook for latest updates regarding what is coming next onto my channel. And yeah, that's it for today. So I hope this was helpful to you guys and if it was, don't forget to subscribe, comment and like and I'll see you in my next video. Till then take care and thanks for watching guys. I would just look